Argentina's long-term Falklands strategy has been laid bare by a geopolitical expert, who told Express that both the UK and the South American country will look for US intervention over territorial scraps in the future. The British Antarctic Territory is a sector of Antarctica claimed by the UK as one of its 14 British overseas territories, of which it is by far the largest by area and overlaps the claims of Argentina and Chile. The area includes three regions which were previously administered by the British as separate dependencies of the Falkland Islands, Graham Land, the South Orkney Islands, and the South Shetland Islands. The UK's claim to the region has been suspended since the Antarctic Treaty came into force in 1961, Article 4 of which states no acts or activities taking place while the present treaty is in force shall constitute a basis for asserting, supporting or denying a claim to territorial sovereignty in Antarctica. In 1982, Argentina invaded and occupied the Falkland Islands, followed by the invasion of South Georgia, in a conflict that lasted 74 days and ended with an Argentine surrender and more than 900 casualties. But, as diplomatic relations over the area continue to be strained, Royal Holloway's Professor Klaus Dodds has stated history will not repeat itself. He told Express, I think, for the moment, conflict between the UK and Argentina is unlikely. The UK and Argentina have, in a sense, some common cause here. Despite all their disagreements in places like the Falklands, there is a common cause because both countries are long-standing, but smaller Antarctic nations. The Antarctic Treaty System protects both of their territorial claims. The Antarctic Treaty System entered into force in 1961 and sets aside Antarctica as a scientific preserve, for freedom of scientific investigation and bans military activity on the continent. Professor Dodds says the South American countries will not break this agreement, but other countries might. He added, the last thing the UK and Argentina want, and Chile because they claim the same part, is the treaty to fall apart. That is of no strategic advantage to any of those three countries. So what Argentina and Britain will do in the future is continue to trade in a war of words over the ownership of the Falklands and South Georgia, but they don't want conflict. There is no incentive and both would look on with concern in terms of what Russia and China might wish to do in Antarctica and hope that the US would be an important strategic counterbalance.